Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are going to take a look at the... <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are looking at the Tal Chorus LX, taken from the Tal Uno LX uh, emulator of the Juno 60 from the 80s. Uh, so this is just the chorus on its own. You might recognise it from the way it's laid out here. It's it's exactly the same. Um, but let's see what it can do. It's free again. It's Is there a power behind this? Does it sound really good? Does it do anything that is useful? And should you add it to your plugin collection? And the answer is yes. It's free for one. And two, it has some really nice effects, especially on bass lines. So let's take a dive into the bass. We're going to look at the drive bass on here. No, let's look at the ag bass. Okay, and then this is what it sounds like without the tal chorus on, and then with. And that's just as you open it up, everything's set to the default setting. So let's have a mess around. Let's just increase the wet signal. Let's add the chorus 2. Let's take one off. See, it has a really nice sound. It does cut off that top end a little bit. But what do you expect from a chorus? Um, but it can have an overall nice sound added to your mix. Especially if you want both on, you can get a little bit of direction, a bit of movement in your bass. Uh, I do prefer Chorus 2 on its own there. So you can have the stereo width set to mono or stereo. Uh, and that is it. You've got your dry wet knob, standard signal. So you can have a little bit of the original signal and a bit of chorus in. And then crank the volume. So yes, in terms of having that in your collection, I think you should, definitely for the bass. Uh, if I just go into the bass and just disable that for a second, we'll look at the melodies now. So let's look at Pluck Stars, of course. Uh, okay, and I'm just going to drag the chorus over. Okay, and then let's turn it on. Add a bit of width on there. So you can add some nice warmth to your sound. Depending on what you're trying to do, this could be the supportive synth that sits underneath, not the main one that's heard, because this is intentionally a bright synth lead, uh, as you can tell here. It's nice and clean, it's bright. So you may want to add it onto maybe this detune lead. So let's just add it on there. So that could work. Just to add some direction and movement again in the synth, and then when it's layered up. So yeah, that is it was put on the master bus, so you, you heard it affect everything there. So the Tal Uno X LX plugin now has its own chorus as well from Tal. And it, it works. It's a chorus. It's got them two classic, distinctive 80s sounds. Start using it. It's free. Why not? So thank you very much for watching this video. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And leave me a comment and a like just to let me know what you think of the videos. See you tomorrow, guys.